Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to display today's date and current time in React.js component. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorials. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Let's continue the today's tutorial how to display the today's date and current time on a React.js component. For this application, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Notice here I have created one React.js application and the application name is first iPhone app. And app.js is a default component of our application. Now let's create one new component into our application inside this source folder. Select the source folder, right click the mouse, new file, and the file name is a date time.js. And here we got our component. Now in React.js, when we want to create a component, we need to import the React class. So first let's import the React, React class, R is capital from React library. After that, I'm declaring a variable. I'm creating in this application the functional component. So date time is my function name is equals to but in curly brackets, I'm declaring a variable show date is a variable is equals to I'm creating an object. It's a date method that class after that let's declare another variable display today's date is a variable is equals to show date dot notice here when i click dot i'm getting some methods of this date class so get date is a method plus plus now between plus plus I am adding on forward slash after date I want to display month show date dot get month in JavaScript plus plus again single calls forward slash now let's add the show date dot get full year is a method now I want to return let's add one root element inside this root element I'm adding one input type is a text element I want to display the value display today's date I want to display the today's date and the property read only is equals to true. Let's close this element. After that, we need to export default default my function name color. That's it. Let's save this file. Save all. When we want to render our component on the browser, we need to configure our component in index.js file. If you notice in the index.js file, inside this render method, it is displaying only the app component, which is the default component of our application. Now, instead of app component, I want to display the date time component just we have created. Import date time from I'm adding the path date time call now I can able to render my date time component on the browser I don't want to display the app component so I'm deleting that one let's save this file save all now to run this component on the browser we need to go to views terminal and here we got our terminal notice the path contains the react examples which is our 
folder name. Now inside this folder, I have created my React.js first iPhone app application. So now let's add our application name to this path first iPhone app. Then we can able to run our React.js application with a command called npm, which is a nudget package manager. Start. Enter. So here we got the output, the today's date. The date, if you notice here, the month is, let's check, the today's date is 23rd, it's in November. November is the 11th month, but here it is paying the 10th month, October month. So what I'm doing, in, in JavaScript, the get method the method is an array, all the months contains an array. The array starts with zero. So we need to add plus one. Let's put this in a parenthesis. Save all. Now let's check on a reload. And here we got a new output. See, we got 11 here, which is a November month 2020. And this text box is a read only because we have added the property called read only. Now I will show you another um, variable, another format of the date to display date. DT is a variable. Show date dot show date dot to date string is a method. Now I want to display this new format another format let's add one center time so put this in the center now between these curly brackets i'm adding dt let's save this file now it's time to check the new output I'm reloading the browser and here we got the new results see their second format it's showing Monday November 23rd 2020 so here Monday 23rd November 2020 now let's add the time time also the current time mm, what I'm doing I'm declaring another variable display time is equals to show date dot get um, hours get hours plus plus in single quotes forward slash uh, again show date dot get minutes plus plus single quotes forward slash show date dot get seconds I'm adding this display time here between curly brackets I'm adding the variable display time let's save this file save all we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser so here we got a new output so what I'll do is uh, instead of forward slash colon let's put this colon now save this file we check the output again see see here we got the new output the current time 23rd 18 notice when i reload the browser the seconds are changing that's it thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel